Hi, I'm Chidi Ogwamanem. I'm sorry I wasn't able to make it to this conference. Um, had other commitments, but I'm um, happy to speak a little bit in partnership with my colleagues from University of Ottawa and other members of the panel um, to talk about uh, our research project in Open African Innovation Research. Um, one of the major issues around Africa and innovation is the whole concept of innovation has not actually recognized that Africa has historically been a very creative society. For the most part, talking about innovation and Africa seem to be a contradiction in terms, but that should not have been the case. The level of creativity and innovation that happens on our continent is so monumental, and in fact, it is not captured. So the Open African Innovation Research Project is a very significant initiative that comes into the space to begin to challenge some of the presumptions made about the nature of innovation that goes on in Af on African continent. And over the years, we've been able to create a research network that has mobilized African scholars and researchers across disciplines to engage the subject of innovation that happens on our continent through practical research or grounded research, empirical research, particularly in the area of intellectual property rights. And therefore, what we have found in, on the field, as my colleagues will make clear later on, is that the kind of knowledge production that goes on on our continent is collaborative, unlike the very formal metrics through which they measure innovation. And more importantly, in the 21st century, Africa has actually leapfrogged into the knowledge economy. I'll give you an example. I could buy a phone somewhere in Lagos, or no, somewhere in Canada here, and seek to manipulate it for some objective. Let's say we want to unlock the phone, and I'm charged $40 or more to be able to do that. I take the phone and go to an African capital, be it Nairobi, Lagos, Abuja, or elsewhere on the continent, and you see very young kids who are able to manipulate this device any way, shape, or form you want them to do it. And most of these kids never knew what was a landline. They had their introduction to telephone and digital technology has always been through the cell phone, through mobile technology. And they continue to do incredible things. And so, in open African innovation research, what we have come to do is to begin to take another look at the metrics with which innovation is measured and to recognize that on this continent, significant degree of innovation happens. And because Africa is unarguably the next important site of global geopolitical power, and we have been able to use this network to, to connect Canadians and in relation to the opportunities that are emerging from Africa through uh, capacity building, network building, and exchange, mobilizing young generation of researchers across Africa and Canada in order to begin to create the next wave of movement about uh, the kind of innovation and research that goes on in Africa. So our movement, or our research initiative and network is not premised on the usual top-down prescription model of what Africa should do. But through this network, we've been able to create significant interaction between Canadians and Africans, and to some degree, other people from different parts of the world, in order to exchange ideas as to what we can learn from Africa, as much as what Africa can learn from the rest of the world. Thank you.